Happy birthday, Whitney. Thank you. That was so sweet that they did that. I was like, wow, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so besides ben, ben, dancing on national television, um, what? how are you celebrating or how did you celebrate? I just went to dinner with my husband and my baby and it was like just the perfect day. I felt so, so spoiled. It was the best. <laughs> and I just, I'm like, I like a chilled day. Like just yeah. like being with everybody, eating good food. It was great. And she had to practice with me. And yep. that was the it, highlight. It can't get any better than that, right? Oh, and Mike, Mike surprised me with some chalk cannons. So I thought they were confetti <laughs> cannons, right? I thought paper was going to fly out. It had been funny, right? So I blasted it in yeah. her trailer yeah. surprising her from the outside in and her trailer is yellow and pink right now <laughs> <laughs> that's that's awesome. chalk everywhere my new outfit that i just got for my birthday chalk all over it i'm like oh, of course such a mic surprise yeah uh, yeah make... yeah yeah so you're gonna do all the cleanup right of course well, we, well yeah, tried to. i tried <laughs> yeah. try to clean it up the best i could <laughs> oh that's great um listen i can't think of a better team to perform grease lightning that is like quintessential Grease song. How did it feel? Honestly, I felt I felt great during it. Like while we were doing it, I was having fun. I was having a blast. Um, and honestly, I felt like we hit all of our steps. Like I felt everything that we yeah. worked on, like I felt like I nailed. And it just, it's one of those songs that sometimes when you're doing Grease Lightning, you just, you want to go fast. Because yeah. I mean, lightning. So I think I, I got a little ahead of myself. Yeah, and, and uh, we could definitely feel the energy of the room too. It was like it's just we got everybody kind of amped up. Yeah. And I feel like we felt the right. energy rushed it a little bit at the ending, but honestly, like I couldn't be more proud. It was so much fun. Like I had a blast. And her choreography really challenged me. It this was one that I was like, oh my, I don't know if I can do this. Like I just I don't know if my body can go that fast and do the right things and like you're doing one thing with your top and your bottom needs to be doing something completely different yeah and <laughs> she challenged me she worked on it with me and honestly in the end i thought that you know we really nailed it yeah it no i think it's i think it's better to have too much energy than not enough uh Miz, by the way was it tough to move in those tight jeans couldn't have been easy no, actually, honestly these are pretty great jeans like i thought i was gonna have a little problems here and there but i was comfortable i felt really good out there and uh yeah the jeans were good i mean love it, love it. so i mean my wife i did i actually have all week, all week. i have i had black jeans the entire time during practice i was like if i'm gonna be dancing in jeans i gotta practice in jeans there you go i love that i love it. and how flammable was your wig oh my gosh i felt like ace ventura out there to be honest <laughs> uh that high i was i just want to be like oh right <laughs> And I know, listen, you had, you gushed over your wife, which I thought was very sweet. Um, how was it having her there in rehearsals? And then really having her there watching you in the audience since the beginning. Since the beginning, she's been my biggest support system. And every time I go home, she wants to see the dance. She wants to do the dance. She wants to figure out different ways that she can help. And wow. I mean, every time she has been there, I've always wanted her to go to the rehearsal studio because I really wanted her to see what practice is like and how challenging it is because you get to see this finished product but you really don't get to see yeah. how it all starts because yeah. when it starts it is frustrating mm -hmm. and you're trying to get the steps and trying to get everything down you're just not getting it and just for her to come into the studio meet Whitney and you know it was just yeah. it was really great that's awesome so okay um you know we're like right in the middle of the competition I mean I feel like the scores are getting higher as the competition goes on which is great but it's also like now the standards are higher too. Are you feeling that pressure? I mean, I always feel the pressure like every single season, but it's great pressure. It just allows us to want to work harder. And obviously like for me, I want to like, you know, create really good stuff that he can feel really good at. And then obviously for him, it kind of drives him to do better and better and practice, 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 as you say. Yeah, I mean, we, we saw four tens for the first time with Jojo. And let me tell you something, Jojo, all morning, like I was watching her, she was stretching, she was in her mode, she was focused and she deserved those 410. She did a fantastic job, her and Jenna. I love that, a little friendly competition. Well, thank you guys, congratulations, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.